Oh. It's so sharp. It's... it's great. You see, who'd have thought that a Gothic cemetery keeper's cottage could look so crisp, so, so vital? You know, you've got your, your 20th century equivalent to the baronial home. You've got your moat, you've got um, your baronial staircase, heraldic devices, uh, turrets and... I believe I have. Gifts. But head down into the basement and the tone is not so much baronial as Playboy Bachelor, with a cavernous wine cellar under the Victorian Lodge. A spacious TV room with its own bar and most extravagant of all, the 13 meter long swimming pool. So this, this is amazing. This is like being in a private members club. You know, I have something to say about that. Which is that it is, it's kind of super bling. It's, it's sort of brilliant in a way. It's, it's as good sort of medieval chain mail. It's exactly what it is. Medieval chain mail waterfall. It just gets better and better as you approach. This curves, it curves around, it entices you, it kind of draws you. It's such, such a great shape. I just want to stand and just drink in those, those shapes. The spiral shape gives the impression of a snake basking on the hillside. The hall leads to the centerpiece of this home, an open plan living space where lateral and vertical curves combine to breathtaking effect. I'm standing in a building where I don't feel as though I want to say very much. I just want to stand here and just let it embrace me. I'm finding my job quite hard to do here because I'm normally standing in buildings kind of, you know, enthusing about them and waxing and, and being, you know, kind of energetic about them. And what this building is doing to me is the, it's kind of giving me a gentle shoulder rub, you know. <laughs> it's, I'm kind of being lulled by it almost. It's absolutely great. I mean, congratulations, because it's done so um, finely, you know, with such attention to detail and such precision. Jaw-dropping showstopper of a building. Hello, hello. Oh, Hi, I'm admiring your building. Good morning. Now the scaffolding's done. What? A difference, isn't it? Yes. It's looking so sharp, so clean, so bright. I mean, those little eyebrows up there Fabulous. are pert, aren't they? In contrast to the tower, the modern glass-fronted cube holds practical living spaces, including the dreamlike kitchen. Good Lord! <sighs> this is sharp intake of breath. Crystalline, isn't it? Beautiful. Very, very perfect and lovely. Mm. I'm going to the North Pole. Uh, it's, it's a facsimile, isn't it, of downstairs? This? Yes. Into, wow. It's even lighter, this room, because it's that bit higher. And from here, you can just see emerging from over the trees what is yet to appear mm. the further you go up the building. It's a bit of a tease. And it's this big picture window which gives you the view of the city, doesn't it? From the Shard right round through St Paul's, Post Office Tower, the Eye, Parliament. That's, that's the whole of central London. It's not much more. In one view. Pretty, pretty gobsmacking, huh? Really, this is what it's about. You know, if, if, if you spent your money on nothing but this, it, it's kind of worth it, isn't it? This is what it's about. This was what it was always about. This folly has sprung alive again. Its windows glint. Its walls are brighter, battered and bruised with time, but now delicately repaired with lime mortar. And it has a new grand staircase and a new birthday. Oh, how oh, very, very nice. Looks great. Hey, I like your, your um, handrail. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, no, it's a nicely done thing. The kitchen is a lot more spacious than I ever imagined it would be. There's plenty of room for a table. I want the full castle tour. The... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How mysterious. How enticing. 
I do like the way the staircase kind of sort of takes you through the building. It kind of it's it pulls you through the building. Look at this. Nice to live in a castle, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. From the bedrooms, the staircase winds its way through the turret to the roof. A fitting observation deck. I do like this space up here. And there's something up about being up in the canopy, isn't there, as well, which is a different sort of relationship with the trees, the, with the sites. Well, do you is, get that is. sense, you know, of being in sort of almost in a tree house because you're mm. so surrounded by trees? Um, just a really nice feeling, actually. Such a peaceful space to be. And everything about this house is epic, from the vast expanses of glass to the monumental slate wall. It's a stroke of brilliance is to have this great spine wall of slate sticking out of the building. Yeah. Because it suddenly opens up a conversation between this and the surrounding houses. Yeah, no. It's a magical thing, that. So, are you settling in, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I like the pink glass. Yeah, rose-tinted, I'd call it. <laughs> That's very appropriate for you. Yeah, we need a little bit of that in our lives. <laughs> oh, this is lovely up here. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm I very mean, uh, proud. There's a hill over there, there's a hill over there, and there are two new hills in between. Spot the difference. Yeah, they're my hills. Yeah. It's not just on the outside that Robert's design ambition pays off. This roof, you come in right underneath it, it's, uh, it grabs you, doesn't it? I do like it. I yeah. love it. I mean, I like the fact that I didn't galvanise the connectors and there's rust on them and the wood got sort of damaged with the rain. And you like all that? I think it's a little bit wobbly and a little bit not natural. perfect and, and it's sort of honest. I really didn't think it was going to work. I really thought that it was... I mean, I thought it would work in engineering terms, but I thought it would look a bit foolish. It would look like an indulgence, something you'd tried for the sake of it. But it isn't. It's fabulous, actually. Seeing the finished studio makes me think that the pain Robert and Mila are going through might be worth it. Oh, that's more like it. Absolutely yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. This is what it's about, isn't it? That uninterrupted view all the way down Lake Windermere. Sort of look at that view and you sort of think how lucky you are yeah. to actually live here. <laughs>